Be free, little one. This is your life to lead in the air world. I might not be able to escape this planet. But you, little peeper. You will make it. You can. You can live. Oh my god. Into orbit with you. <gasps> what? Peeper, break into the atmosphere. He goes into space. He don't need no oxygen. He can see everything because he's got a big eye. It's yellow. It only exists to see stuff in space. He's the space peeper. And he's peeping on you. Peeping right up in your room. Now he's coming back down through the <laughs> atmosphere. Oh my god, meteor peeper. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling like a conquering hero. The Aurora is mine, and we consider consider what we just did without seeing anything scary. If we can do that without seeing anything scary, there's nothing scary in this game. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the base. Don't don't look, man. I'm trying to give you a pep talk. Don't <laughs> ram your face into a piece of metal. Literally rammed my face into the base. Like, you you put that there. What I want to do is. Go get more of the Magnum Magnum Mog for this big old chip upgrade. Okay. So well, I that's guess, in Perp Cave. Yeah, I guess we need some. We need some Pup Cave. We need some. A little bit of Pup Cave. A little bit of Pup Cave. Which we can go more into with the moth now. We can do a little bit more with the moth now. It's moth and time. There's Pup Cave. Is that Pup Cave? That's Pup Cave. That's Pup Cave. This time, this time they don't know what is where is what to going. And remember that sound is just the whales going through the cave echoes. Hello? Oh, it's an infected crab snake. Is it? I oh, feel yeah. like it's getting worse. Like, it, it does feel like it's getting worse. Right? Oh, I mean... Look at that. We can go all the way down. Probably. It's prob uh, it, seem it does seem to be that, it, that, it, that it's more places that you've already been once or once before. Maybe okay, you're okay, okay. It. We don't need to. We don't need to. No, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It, 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 it'd say the infection made things aggressive. So even if they weren't aggressive before, oh, that yeah. one might be. Yeah. Okay. Let's not be. Let's not it's be. Stop weird. just going into things as well. I think is a good idea. You got a little hot area. Love exhaust. You know, something tells me. I think this is what the sea moth is for. We just probably kind of don't want to. No, no, no. Bring, bring the sea moth, and then you're fast enough to go in between the geysers. You're really like a bad influence. I just think it's an interesting area to explore that might have some more interesting things. And you're just running for no reason in particular. Well, I, I have limits to my bravery, man. Like, what do you want from me? Yeah, but that doesn't mean you have to go all the way back. Like, I just wanted more of the, the, the Magnemite. I wanted more Pokemon. Is that some Magnetite on your right? Just on the ground there? Is that like a big one, do we think? Bite it. <laughs> Did it just slap against the wheel? Like, I'm okay, I'm going oh! to swim into the side of the fucking thing. Stupid fish. Can I help you, sir? What? <laughs> what? Oh, he's, he's just sort of like, I'm, g I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake with this crown. This is where we sleep. <laughs> what? I am a tree. Do not disturb me. I am photosynthesizing. <laughs> yes, please offer me light. Is it real? Do we think it's real? I mean, I think it's real. What if happens if I ram it? Oh, I think you'll hit it. Okay. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> this little poke. Why was their proposed habitat? So their proposed habitat is mushroom? Oh, yeah, look, it's a full-on little base. Yeah, I was going to say, I guess cave, cave is probably a safe space. So. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. All right, let's have a little... So maybe you can fix it up a bit. A little cheeky look. A stasis yeah. rifle. Any new fancy parts here? Maybe a data pad that might help. Ooh, okay. The Gossy voice log number five pecking order. Son, there's always a pecking order. Listen to me, your father man. But if money makes a high grade, why is Marguerite making the APC's yes? Yeah, <laughs> okay, well, I think things didn't go great here. No, I don't think so. Oh! Water filtration machine. Wow, this is a long scan. Big machine. This might be the longest scan we've ever had. We're sharing this right. moment right now. Big, this is big, the longest big, big scan machine together. we've ever had. Does this, like, produce salt? Don't think that's the idea. I think it's the idea that it produces filtered water. Yeah, yeah, but it, yeah, 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 you fool. It does it by drawing in seawater, splitting off the right, salt, okay. and making it purified. So we get both salt cool. and water out of it, which is, like, nice. Oh, that seems pretty good, then. Yeah. 
God, don't you anything, know anything about a seawater purifier? I mean, really. Well, I didn't know it was seawater. I just knew it was water. Where else would we get water from in, in the sea? In the... Where else do we get water from? Well, that was quite the discovery. Oh, yeah. Those poor people. They all got deaded. Well, it happens to everyone except for us. So, do you think we can just leave? Oh! It does sort of look like you can, yeah. Okay. Wait, but... This would be a, maybe a decent place to put a beacon if we come up somewhere here. We're over... Okay, we're 580 meters away. That's not too far. Yeah, yeah. And we we'll accidentally come out into, like, death. Oh, we got seven of the stuff. That's nice. So now we can, in theory, just straight up make this little scanner upgrade, which I'm actually quite excited for. Oh, good, good hit. Oh. Well, I call it a hit and run, but it's more of a hit and park. <laughs> hit and park here. instead. Put it in your fish tank with Martin. I'm so sorry. Oh. You know, they're probably one of my favorite fish as well. Alien manta rays. Yeah. They look like out of all of them, they look quite, quite cool. I really should have some sort of organization <laughs> yeah. to this whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> just, just a bunch just of like lockers in a hallway. This one? Maybe this one? This There's some one? stuff in some of these somewhere. I, I mean, it could be anything in any of them, really. Who even knows? Well, who knows? You know what? I do kind of want... Let's let's try it. Let's... You know what? Let's let's do it. Let's... 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 We're gonna go make a goddamn out as our grove right. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna... We're gonna make a... Why is this the moment that that undecided important moment thing... <laughs> We're gonna make a goddamn outdoor grow bed. That's what we're gonna do. I'm happy for you. All right. Oh, we can put it on the roof. I just stick it somewhere, you know. Oh, that's quite fun. If we put it on the yeah, then we can have two in a row, and then they can just live on here. Nice. I can live there. Okay. Don't make fun of me. Okay. I'm I'm having a great time. I'm not making fun of you. I'm agreeing. I feel like you're making fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. Finish making it. Okay. <laughs> so if I and then. Yeah, there we go. We just put some stuff in, yeah. Poison ones on healthy raw salad of live tree roaches and skank root. Oh, oh I need my table, Carol. Oh, we've we've done it. I think we've done it. I think we've... Uh, table coral, yes. We've we've uh, got all the ingredients. We can ingredient this thing. In what? What? A whole shoal of fish just swam through the corridor of our habitat. I believe it's pronounced a school. Why did that happen? I, like, I'm very interested in the fact that it happened, but I... <laughs> I just really enjoyed that as well. All right. Scanner room hood. Oh, and we could do the range as well. And the range, yeah, might as well. These are like the two big ones. Oh, we've got three pages of stuff now. Yeah, so I assume if we scan for something, then then it'll show up on our hood like markers, probably. So if we do wreck, and it's there. So how does that appear on our hood? Oh, yeah, look there. Wow. Oh, Rick. That's so good. Oh, that's very good. That's really good. Very helpful. That's amazing. I assume it takes power to scan. Well, I think it takes power to do everything just constantly. So if we just leave that scanning, might be all right. Oh, they're all away from the aurora as well. Oh, that one's towards it. Why is that one towards just the aurora? Under the aurora? Why is that one towards the aurora? If they're just like under the aurora. <laughs> well, that's not happening, is it? Why are you afraid of the aurora? If anything, it would discourage large creatures being near it. You have no proof of that. Big thing emit radiation. Fish move away. Only fish that stay are fish that get preyed upon if move away. I think you're overestimating the fish's con- Oh, it's just that wreck again. How do we get it off the scanner? Maybe it's just not finished. Where's life pod? Yeah, this one is. So we've been revived from life for but they're quite okay. Crew report problems with their own board sunk to- Oh, area of low ecological activity. Didn't we go somewhere? And the voice was like, this area is weirdly, like, missing loads of creatures. That's just Plant Kingdom. No, no, that sh her report there was, this area is just dominated by plant life. I don't know, then. Nowhere we have a beacon, I don't think. This seems very... There's sand sharks. There's a few of them, now. <laughs> Excuse me? That's one of the octopus things, right? No, 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 no. Okay. It's just a fucking octopus. They're not problems. It's not even that big. Okay. Okay. So that's a no-no zone. It's just a purple octopus. I don't think... You don't even know if it's aggressive. You've not even looked at it for longer than two seconds. Anything that has been larger than a fish has been aggressive except for the table was. Except for the what? No, the fucking... The, the snakes weren't. The crab snakes weren't except for the infected one. I mean, we watch them chase down and butcher other animals. I'm pretty sure we just never happened to. And then you got close to one and it didn't, it didn't aggress you when you were scanning it for like 30, 40 seconds. It seemed pretty upset. I think they're just territorial over their egg mushroom. Oh my god. <laughs> Rick. We are the Wrecks and we're here! It's wrecking time. It's wrecking time with the Wreck Boys! Wreck 1, Wreck 2, Wreck 3, Wreck 4, and Peter. I'm Peter. Ooh, what is this? Mm. 
I think we found a wreck by Jove. It looks like we don't even have the scanner on, Jove. I can't believe it. A scannerless wreck? My God. Cut open that door. I could put on a laser laser foot. A laser foot is what I could put I'm on. Gonna, I'm going to take out my laser foot and cut this open. I'm going to cut it open with my laser foot. It's going to make sure. Look, Bob, just because your leg got cut off doesn't mean you have to take out the cool attachments. It's going to make sure we've not been in somehow on the other side. Oh, it's a bit bright, isn't it? Oh, it's nighttime. Is it even possible to weld underwater? Can any professional yes. welders just chime yeah, in here? Yeah, that's how oil rigs are made. Surely they're just made and then dropped into the ocean. That, unfortunately, doesn't quite work that way, sadly. No, you can't just make a full full one and then just plop it into just, the... Uh, you know, helicopter it out there or something. I'm sure a helicopter can pick up an oil rig. Helicopter it out and then... I think if you just get, like, eight helicopters, you can carefully balance some ropes above an oil rig. Well, that's what I'm thinking, right? And then you're all... I mean, this is a cool place, but I feel like we're above a lot of... Oh, what is this? Lightweight high-capacity tank. Does that really help us? I see. But I'm sure it's lower than ultra-high. Yeah, so it'll make us go a bit faster, but we don't have the... Well, who I mean, cares about that? Have we've got, the we have oxygen, the really. light, yeah. We've got sea glide and sea moth for speed. I don't think we're, we're like that not maneuverable. No, we're very, very fast. Those fucking table whales need to learn when to take a break. They do talk a lot, don't they? All right. Down we go. Okay, calm down. Down we go. Calm. No, we're not just going to... Down we go. We're going down. We've got 300. We've got 300 meters. Down we go. What is this? Look at that. It's so it's a crazy plant. It's got like... It's got corners and shit. Oh, it's, it's just a red board. It's, it's just, just red board. Yeah. It's just, it's just lighting in this area. Yeah, it's just lighting in this area. <laughs> We're only at a third of our depth limit, so we can keep going. You need to pipe going down. down. We're going down. Stop just saying we're going down. I'm getting into it's it. <laughs> it's down time. We're going down. I don't like it. I don't like it. What Come on. Is this Come on. We're getting, oh, look, look what's down there. It's like little rocks. Go down. Keep going down. Oh, look at that. It's purple. What is that? A little purple thing and a little red plant. Oh, what's the red plant? Yeah. Ro Rouge Cradle. Does it do anything for it? Well, actually, no, wasn't this on the back of the, the space whale at the very start? Maybe, but we didn't scan it if it was. When does my scanner need another battery? Like, I really... At some point in the future. Just want to put another battery in, and then I cannot worry about having to do that. <laughs> in, like, a crisis? Uh, you know, a crisis of scanning. A crisis of scanning. That just sounds like the uh, the really sad autobiography of the Subnautica survivor. A crisis of scanning. This is a true it's story. For low, I could not, in fact, be held responsible. Oh, is that a time capsule? A time capsule? They're exciting. What's in you? Uh, Some good things. Last time we got prawn arms. Not inserted oily. Orally. Oily. This time we just got... Oh, we got a thermoblade. Thermoblade. Gel nice. sack spores. What is that? that? That sounds cool. The thing we need was aerogel, right? Maybe it has to do with that? I mean, I guess that would make sense. It'd be weird if it was... D different gel. No, there's no way we have just found a random time capsule that's <laughs> given us a plan that's actually gel relevant site. to what we're literally randomly, I mean, blindly searching I, for. I doubt there's multiple things named gel, so that sort of sounds like it might just be a relevant time capsule. Do we just... Go back and plant it and see what grows? I mean, I, we could, but I feel like we've made such strides. <laughs> oh, it's just the shadow of the... Just, just, yeah, I, th good. I thought it was like a big... The rock. <sighs> okay. It's all right. We're going down. Stop! Stop it! Stop <laughs> it! Oh, oh, we're, going, we're going down. Stop it! We're going to go, we're gonna go down now. I hate it so much. Look at, it. look at it down there. It's just, it's just some like seaweed. This isn't even 200. We could have come here at any point. This, yeah, this is just seaweed. You just didn't want to go down. Look, there's like little bales of hay. It's for Assassin's Creed Oh, yeah, diving. little bales of hay. Oh, the sea cow. This is where the sea cows are. Or, or maybe it's like the manure of something very large. I think there's any, like, wrecks here, or...? I mean, maybe. We don't have a scanner room here. We build a scanner room here. Oh, yeah, if we build a different based scanner room, then we can get more of the... That's a really good point. Oh, yeah, and then we can see the wrecks. Should we beacon it? I mean, we're not far away from one of our beacons, are we? I, th I thought we were near one. What is that? The deep area. I think we should go down. I don't think we should go down. <laughs> I think we should go down. Let's go down. Good lord. There's just... There's just a lot. Like, there's just a lot. I think that's sort of the point of this game. Is like, to somebody who, like, enjoys the concept of undersea exploration, it's like, wow, there's a lot. And for you, it's, why Why is there so much? <laughs> you know, that is kind of it, isn't it? What is all this? Classic. Classic what? Classic underwater area, you know? It's just, oh, oh there's, a, there's a little thing down there. Is that an escape pod? 19? You found 19? Isn't this the one that we got that was really scary? 
Yeah, this is the area where it. This one's like three. No, I don't think we've been here. This is like three hundred. No, we have not. It's open. Yeah, this is the one that we got that was really scary. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, this was, this was, yeah, this is the one we had and to leave. And this is the last, area yeah. that it was like weirdly low life form volume yeah. in this this area. Is that, whoa! And where I grabbed a free ruby. There's another one over there. Okay. Oh, we don't have enough food. Sorry, there's always fixes for that. Especially because you have a thermo blade, so you can actively cook a small fish. Oh, yeah, I can just slash a fish. I've got a fish right now. Just slash a fucking fish. Got a lightsaber. Oh, yeah, look at that. Bitch cooked. Consume. Oh, there I think, we go. It, I think it's the right material. <laughs> and rubies. Nice. Oh, and it uses ruby, of course. That's perfect. We can make a prawn suit. We can make a goddamn prawn suit. It's prawn in time. It's prawn in time. You know what, Martin? He can go live with Martin. He already has a name. Yes, I did it. There you go, Martin. There's a Reginald. This is Reginald. He's like you, but back. Okay, with... Martin. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, no. Oh no. We th you found his predator. I thought he just eats, just rips him in half. Like, oh <laughs> shit. Okay, so I guess we can. It's a little one. Just wait for gel to grow. Growing gel sack. Seventy-six percent. Seventy-seven percent. So I'm thinking we can't just oh, harvest this one. We should probably harvest its seeds and then get more of them going because I imagine we'll need more air gel. I suppose. Watch over it. Well, I mean, there's always okay. more of that. We Tend just want to it, like a seed. good, good papa moth. I've, I've, been, I've been here. <laughs> He's a good boy. Why do you have a big old lever? I, that's how you eject the water. Yeah, it's to let you know when it's in fast mode. <laughs> hey, you want to see shoulder legs? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh god. Oh, Jesus. I don't like that. Stop shoulder legs? Oh my Stop god. Doing that. <laughs> Look, it's like I've got really big jumps. I just don't, I just don't like this. I can't believe we found a random seed for the thing that we needed while trying to find the thing that we needed. Well, then we also did find the thing right nearby at least. Okay, cool. So we get three gel sacks per thing. Oh, look cool. at the little baby gel. <laughs> Grow well. Toy little babies. Timmy, Tim, and Timothy. I hope they can't be over water. <laughs> Are you ready for a sick trick? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was okay. sick, man. I love that. I've never seen someone lose 17 health so quickly. Did you like the sick trick? It's the greatest. It's sick. <laughs> the sickest of trickest. As far as tricks go, that was sick. Oh, why did I take damage there? What even happened? Sometimes fish damage, sometimes no. We need to put the lever in go mode. We do. Oh, have you got like an ultra boost module or something for it? Like triple the speed of the sea moth. Just, mm. Well, maybe the cyclops is faster. Or maybe the prawn suit's faster. Yeah, actually, the prawn suit's a That'd mech. Nice. Is it just supposed to walk along the sea floor? Well, I have to... Yeah, I have to imagine the prawn suit's probably slower but sturdier and has like weapons. The Cyclops can go deeper, but is 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 probably slower. The Seamoth's probably the fast one. Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, that's what you want, because otherwise, if the vehicles just replaced the previous ones, that'd be a bit anticlimactic. What is that? A little platform for stuff. Oh, that's one of those shooty, shooty tentacles, which I normally love a good shooty tentacle, but what? what? That's like a ventilation thing? Yeah, what? Is it like a water filtration system? I think there's like a facility underneath it or something. Well, this is where they had the plans to put up their thing that, that you know, we found the rune place around here. So maybe they actually got a working one going after that. Why does he have like shimmery... What? It's Peepa. What? Maybe it has to do with the filtration. Maybe he's running on filtrated water. Enzyme host. Enzyme host Peepa? Take him. Take him. I should take him. Maybe that's like the cure for the disease. Yeah, that's so interesting. Alien vent. Ah, oh, we can. Alien vent. Oh, it's an alien vent, I see. That's actually a really good point. These vents connect ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. Hmm. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress, but other creatures are avoiding the vents. I wonder if you get a camera in there. Ooh. That's a bit sneaky cheeky. Yeah, and the peepers are leaving with the enzyme, so there's clearly something going on in there. Yeah, so maybe this facility is, like, working on the cure? All right. What is a moon pool? Oh, you know, it's a moon pool. The fuck is that? The moon pool is an essential module for long-term. Its primary function is a dry dock for small vehicles. Dry dock for small vehicles. Uh, Such as the Seamoth and the Prawn Suit. I think it's just a place that... I guess it lets you have multiple vehicles by giving you somewhere to store a vehicle. Well, I guess we've got it now. 
Don't we have a torpedo arm from the... I think we have a propulsion cannon arm. I do like how the wrecks are done. Oh yeah, they seem quite nice. I swear there was a way in. Yeah, there's a little room there, yeah. Well spotted, chap. Who we? It's me, chap. Men. <laughs> the name's chap. But I'm French, so it's chapi chapeau. Open data box. Ooh, reinforced. Ooh, reinforced diving suit. Can't say no to that, Acquiry. To reduce incoming physical damage and thermal damage. Shock absorption reduces nice. physical impact by 50%. Disclaimer, you are not invulnerable, though. I would like to have been invulnerable. Vehicle upgrade console. Vehicle upgrade console. Okay. What's the vehicle upgrade console? I think it was for the moon pool, it said. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty successful to me. I'm not going to leave it we can go, go get our prawn suit now. We can indeed go get our prawn suit. Here we go, I suppose. Prawn suit! <laughs> give us a mech, give us a mech, give us a mech, give us a mech. Mech time. Let's go. Where's it going? Oh, no, no, prawn suit, prawn suit! Prawn suit, no. Oh, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. It's not, it has to walk. Oh, yeah. look at that! Oh, very cool. Oh, and it actually, look at all that storage. Storage. Oh, big storage, big storage. Oh, my God. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, okay, so this thing's got a limit of 900 meters, it looks like. Oh, wow. So, which I guess makes sense if it needs to be on the ocean floor. Oh, my God. Oh, it's got punching. Well, I feel like this is this has got to up our exploration game. Jet, little jetpack. Okay, so it can just get around. Yeah, that's useful. It's just not very fast, is the thing. And also getting back, it's like it's going to have to tackle cliffs. Oh, yeah, it can pick stuff up. You can't really move it without deploying it far away. So you would need, like, another base for deployment if you wanted to... Not travel the whole way That's with the it. That's the thing. I mean, I think getting the moon pool and the upgrade station is probably a good call. I mean, it seems pretty solid. Oh, yeah, we should put our... Uh, special peeper in the tank. Special peeper in the tank, yeah. Heal the others. There you go. Look at him. He's oh, just yeah, been spelling, look at him go. spelling gold stuff. I'm sure Martin loves yeah, that. Yeah, Martin's probably a huge fan of sharing his tank with all of these random things. Ah, glitter. Cool. <laughs> Ah, cl oh, gl gl up. It's, it's such a small oh, area, guys. Perfect for the airway. It's kind of some sort of like sick joke, putting them in an aquarium uh, uh, underwater uh, in an ocean. Yep. Like, what's their uh -huh. home? Like, it's so fucked. Just give them a window on the outer edge so they can see out into the ocean, but can never actually go through. <laughs> Running with this is so funny. <laughs> so fast. <laughs> Suck the air. Suck the air, bitch. Don't ever say that again. Let's see if it works. Please don't flood. Please don't flood the base. Please don't flood the base. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. All right. Build that thing. Well, it's got it's got to have somewhere where you can put in modules. Okay. So how does it? Well, in theory, there should be a way to dock vehicles here as well. So maybe we should try bringing a vehicle over. Enter the prawn. It's prawning time. Oh yeah, that opened. Please allow docking. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. Look at that. Now it won't float off. Ah! Very good. Yeah, that is really, really good. And that's where you put your upgrades in, where you can put your arms on. Like your yeah. arms. We can put our. We have an arm for it, so you know, we can always put in our arm. I mean, that's that's all great, but it doesn't actually like help us at the moment, like in any kind of meaningful, like objective way. I don't know. I mean, nine hundred meters of depth. I feel like you're just supposed to go on a mission with that and just see what happens. I mean, we have to find like that alien facility right for research the disease more yeah but that's quite the do. the leap i feel like i really want this reinforced but where do we get synthetic fibers from? We'd, we've not found anything that makes that i don't think or else we'd have a blueprint so i think out of our current scope is the answer to that question oh look how times have changed just bravely forging out into places that we've been two dozen times <laughs> like the point is there's still you know a certain element of blazaness that has been in a, in a beautiful safe glass case with faster than anything we've seen so far there is no doubt in my mind there will be things that can out swim the sea moth oh see this is why we should have brought the prawn and just jumped down even then we couldn't have got back ah, that's what the thrusters are for i guess it'd be very slow though wouldn't it what is that see if there was like a, a prawn retrieval thing i'd be happy to go out using the prawn then you just sea glide your way back. What do we think this all is? Deep, deep, deep area? Oh no. Very, very deep. I mean, in theory, they were they were noticing anomalies like 500 meters, so this is still not much. Did the portal just spawn over there for a second? What the fuck is that? Do you not see it? What? Well, I mean, there's nothing there now. 
It just teleported in, wandered around for a little bit, and then teleported back out. Okay, then. Why the fuck is there teleporting fish? Aliens. What if it teleports inside the sea? Oh! Then we'll probably die. No, no, no. I don't like that at all. Where are we? What is going on? And why is it going on? I just, I, I don't know, but you should you should either get out or, or drive around a bit, this you know? This may be the migration path of a huge bottom-dwelling life form. Oh, interesting. What? It's a migration path. It doesn't mean it's here right now. Uh, that can be described as a large portion of the ocean. And that looks like a nice arm over there. Propulsion. Oh, it can do, like, the, the gravity grabbing, yeah. like the gun thing, but on the arm. Gravity grabbinson. Gravity grabbinson. Why are the doors open? Have we been here before? I don't think so. No, we've not. Look. No. Cyclops docking bay repair module. Okay, cool. We've found lots of Cyclops, like, modules and stuff, but we still don't have the actual yeah. Cyclops itself. I feel like we've gotten unlucky with that a bit. Plant shelf. That's useful. That's what we came here for. That's a victory. What? No, yeah, yeah, it's a portal thing. I can't see what it is, but I see the portal what effects. What the fuck is that? What is summoning portals? I mean, things with high high mobility doesn't give them high offense. What the hell is summoning portals? How can there be portal fish? What the hell is a portal just, fish? It's just a portal fish, man. It's an alien planet. That's what they do. But why? It's just fun, really. Oh, I want to cry. It's, it's just... They can just appear next to you. Like, sure, it can appear next to you, but it hasn't shown any reason for that to be, a, like, a, a problem. You are way too optimistic. Everything wants to kill us. That has not been proven to be even remotely true so far. We can do lots of things. That's really good for us, though. That is really good. That is really, really good for us. Plus, if, if there was something like, if there was a dangerous teleporting fish, it wouldn't make a point of telling us we're in the migration pattern of something massive. Oh, that would exactly be the thing it would do. Like a distraction to make you lulled into a false sense of security. I don't think this game feels the need to do that at any point so far. Anything here? Oh, is that more Cyclops hull fragment? Another, yeah, that's another hull fragment, I think. Oh, <gasps> that's exciting, right? We still need some engine bits, but we've, we've got to start going. Jesus. I just want it to brighten up a bit. I want to. I want to look around, but it's just awful. This is quite the tightening heart and chest wreckage with portal shenanigans happening right just on the. It's just a portal thing. It is not. There's no danger in it. Shut up, okay? You have no concept. Zero. Zero of the concepts. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Oh. If you look at it, it might not even be terrifying. We don't know what the creature looks like yet. We could get attacked by death itself and you'd be like, Oh, it's probably just a cuddly toy. Yeah, for sure. What is this? Looks like a deeper forest. What the hell is that? Yeah, because it's like the kelp forest things, but they're much deeper down. What the hell? Well, I bet you this is where we'll find deep mushrooms. There's just so much. Yeah, there's, a, there's a bunch of new plants and stuff around here. What are they? You know, globs, blood, blood oil. oil, blood, blood oil. The hell is blood oil? Oh, that's oh, more blood oil. Oh my god! Contains blood vine seeds. Ah, oh, they're blood vines. Blood vines? It can't be literally blood. Yeah, that sounds particularly wholesome. That's so scary. Why is there blood plants? Do you think blood oil does anything for us? I mean, surely it's a crafting material. This ecological biome matches seven of the nine preconditions. <laughs> That's funny. Why? Why would you say that? They did not provide any singular statistic as to if, if it is reasonable or not. Oh, there's deep rooms. Those are deep rooms. Oh my god, you got to be careful what you say. You suddenly exclaimed that I was about to die. Oh, those are deep rooms. You think they are? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it popped up on the screen saying there were deep shrooms. Oh, okay. Spinefish? I thought it was another Martin. Spinefish. I just found undead Martin. Yeah, he's one of the seven of the, of the, of the nine uh, things to make humans terrified of this place. <laughs> Why? This is just brutal on the brain. This is brain brutality. It's only seven out of the nine. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's only seven out of the nine. Fair enough. You know, now that you've said that, it's actually completely fine. Okay. This can be seven terror. That works. Lovely seven terror. Nice name. What is up here? Uh, red red forest. Normal red stuff. Oh, why is the? It's just off the edge. There's like a ravine off of the red area. Okay. What happens if we traverse the ravine? Why did he say that? Like it's something you're willing to do? Because sometimes in life you gotta be brave. You gotta be bold. You gotta forge into a 
an unknown realm. Fucking hell. What the f- Yeah, I feel like that's not going so great for you. Yeah, maybe we don't forge into this unknown... <laughs> unknown realm? Maybe we don't... You got up to 300 meters of depth on this baby. <laughs> Why did I feel like you just slaps the seam up? It can go real deep. Why did it just bwong me? Yeah, that was a bit of a weird noise, wasn't it? I think you should keep going. I don't think I can. I think it's deeper than 300 meters. Well, you still got 60 meters to check. You are awful. You're the worst person. I just like knowing what makes sounds. But that's the opposite of what you want to know. Because things make sounds are dangerous. Oh, well, here's 300. Please explain to me why why this place sounds like this. I think it's just new music to represent a, a different type of vibe, you know? It's like a rave. I hate this so much. It's just dark. I hate this. I hate it so much. I hate it so much. And, you know, bass pounding at the same frequency as a heart rate. Uh, we're, we should go to the surface. Why? Because you have one energy. Jesus Christ, speak faster and more accurately. Holy shit. No, if I speak faster, you freak out. You tell me not to speak fast. And when I do, and then you tell me to freak out. No, but give me the why. Not just say we should go to the surface. No, when I say why, you freak out at me too. It doesn't matter what the fuck I say. If I say anything, you freak out. Oh, no. I think it's just out of battery. What do we do? Get out of the sea moth and go back the normal way. Oh my god, why now? Why has I run out of fucking sea moth? Oh! Oh my god, maybe we have to go rescue it in the prawn suit? But I feel like it'd take ages to get to it. But what would that even what would that even do for us? Because if we, we'd still need to move it if we need to move it. I don't know, man. That was heart pounding. Running out of power in the blood trench? Are you kidding me? How did we not notice sooner? There's other things going on. There you go, Martin. Meet dead Martin. Ooh, it's me, dead Martin. I'm gonna get real Martin. <laughs> I'm a spy. All right. So how best to use the prawn suit is the main thing. I have no idea. I mean, it goes deep, so, you know, that helps. It does, but I just, based on the little piloting around we did, I feel like it would take so long to go everywhere in it. I think that's mostly just because it's locked to the sea floor. This actually is a lot closer than Ruby House, despite being utterly terrifying. Yeah, no, it was it was on the the red the red uh, kelp area. It was just a weird deep crevice. To be fair, I guess the sea moth lasts a while, doesn't it? God, it's ridiculous how far underwater we can go without air. Nice tiger sounds. I guess I'd rather experience a, a stranded vehicle and oh, this does not feel good in a outside of a vehicle. Oh! Ah, I think the, the octopuses are the portal guys. Why can they teleport? I don't know. This is a fun way to do an octopus, I guess. I do not think it is an octopus. Well, I haven't gotten a good look at it because every time we go near it, like, I even get a glimpse, you turn that away. That is not a... It's got, like, little claw... Like, little... Like, little claws. Yeah, like little hee-hee claws. And it uses them to teleport. Nah. Nah, that's not... That ain't right. What if he can forcibly teleport other things? Like, what if he teleports me into the middle of just the ocean? That seems entirely unlikely for a random animal to ever even think about doing. I guess figuring out what to do next is indeed the next step. The next step is what is next. The next step. <laughs> next time on Next. <laughs> I love Next. It's my favorite show. Continuing next time when Next is now. But not now, because it's Next now. <laughs> Oh, all right, guys, that is, um, that, you know, as they, as they say. It was a subnautical adventure. It was definitely. I remember that fun time when the sea moth ran out of battery and you had to swim the whole way back? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that was really, it was really cool, wasn't it? It was really, really fun how that, how that happened. And we all enjoyed ourselves. We all had a really great time, yeah. Yeah, we really all had a really great time. <sighs> Like you enjoyed this, subscribe to the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye